what is wrong with Lilo? That's not a rhetorical question. I'm actually asking and then swiftly answering myself. Seriously, I remember watching Lilo and Stitch and thinking that Lilo was just a sweet little weirdo, but watching it again like 15 years later as a parent, that girl is seriously screwed up. I know a large part of her issue is that her parents died and that made her feel really scared, isolated, and uncared for, but Lilo's behavior often go way beyond grief into dangerous territories. Just to list a few of Lilo's peculiar habits, she has a ritual of feeding Pudge a peanut butter sandwich, which I believe is a weekly arrangement, meaning she has identified a fish to attach her fixation on the weather to, probably under the belief that Nani will die from a storm if she doesn't placate Pudge. Lilo also punches Myrtle in the face and bites her. And that's not saying that Myrtle was a great kind child, but come on, that's not how you handle those situations. Lilo even nails her front door shut when she's upset, which is a special level of crazy. She also fabricates these elaborate stories at the drop of a hat with no sense of consequences for lying. Like, remember when she said that Nani beats her with bricks? To a flipping social worker. Lilo even licks Nani to get away from her. This girl is almost feral and now I can kind of empathize with the adults who don't know what to do or how to handle Lilo. And the gospel truth here is that Lilo is showing an extremely long list of tendencies commonly found in people with Asperger's syndrome. Even her obsessions like Pudge, Elvis, and photographing Taurus are very consuming for Lilo and alter how she functions in her daily life. And look what happens when Nani yells at Lilo, kind of rightfully so. Lilo breaks down into selective mutism and then can't seem to process how to respond. Sure, six-year-olds can be difficult to talk to, but they usually don't go silent and make moaning noises when you try to ask them questions. Not to mention, most six-year-olds can successfully relate to their peer groups, assimilate their behavior to fit in, and generally get along and make friends. Lilo doesn't do that. She can't figure out how. And she doesn't pick up on the social cues that the other girls don't like her. Also, in a beautifully nuanced moment, when Lilo sneaks into her hula class soaking wet, she looks so proud of herself while she's keeping up with the other girls. A lot of people don't realize this, but kids with Asperger's can find motor skills a bit more challenging than other people. And even routine things like dancing can be hard for them to keep up with no matter how many times they've done it before. And what does Lilo say? I want to dance. I practiced. I just want to dance. She probably did practice day and night to get those movements down, and it was really difficult for her. But she did it, and she accomplished it, and then she got in trouble and didn't really understand why. She knew she shouldn't have attacked Myrtle, but she doesn't know how to control her impulses, and she doesn't seem to get why that would have anything to do with her hula class. I don't even think Nani knew, as the average diagnosis for Asperger's syndrome won't be given out until a child starts kindergarten and it doesn't seem like Lilo is attending school yet for some reason. So Nani was just doing the best she could for her oddball sister without realizing that her behaviors are an actual disorder and Lilo can't really control it. What a sad frustrating way to live knowing that everyone around you doesn't like you but you don't understand why or how to fix yourself to be accepted. That's why Lilo accepts that Stitch isn't gonna stay because no one wants to stay around her for long and she's just used to it. It might not be reality, but theories are more funly depressing. I'm not okay. I need to go hug that baby girl and tell her she's not alone. Well, that's all I have for now, but this video's not quite over yet. I get a lot of comments that say, do a theory on this topic, but I've already done those theories. So please consider going to my main channel page and clicking on the video tab so that way you can see everything I've done. You will probably find a lot of things you like that you never even knew that I posted. I want to let you know that I also have two other channels, Say Halo Goodbye Gaming and The Family Family Vlogs. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed enough to hit subscribe and share. I can use all the help I can get to let other people know that this channel exists. And if you made it this far, leave me a comment that says something like, hey, I made it to the end. And then let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. I can't make any promises, but the more people that request something, the more I can look into it. Okay, well, I love you. I'll see you in the next video.